Hey guys, it's Andy Son here with the Raw Score. Tonight's Raw begins with Randy Snorton in the ring talking about John Cena using his title shot at WrestleMania to face Orton at No Way Out instead. He then states that he wants Cena to sign a contract obligating him to face Orton at No Way Out. Cena, of course, comes out to sign the contract. Mark Henry, who Cena will face in an arm wrestling match later on, comes out and distracts Cena and Orton RKO's him. I give that a 5.5 out of 10 for a slightly more interesting opening segment, but just slightly. Back from commercial, we see Orton and Henry being interviewed by Todd Grisham. Generic dialogue is had by all. I give that a 3 out of 10 for some very generic dialogue that, thankfully, was very short. Then, Kelly Kelly and Mickey James go up against Victoria and Beth Phoenix. Here's some interesting dialogue that I'm pretty sure JR and King said, JR says, and Kelly Kelly going back to what brought her here in the first place, King says, yeah, a blowjob. James got the win by Tornado DGing Victoria. I give that a 6.5 out of 10 for a good but too short women's tag match. After the match, we see William Regal talking to Hornswoggle about joining the Kiss My Ass Club. It was cut off due to technical garroar. Give that an 8.5 out of 10 for a lulzy technical garroar. Coming back from the break, Shawn Michaels comes out to vent his frustrations about not winning the Royal Rumble match this year and last year, as well as not beating John Cena at WrestleMania last year. Chris Jericho comes out, interrupting HBK to say that he's going to win the Elimination Chamber match at No Way Out. Then Jeff Hardy comes out to interrupt Y2J with much applause. He congratulates HBK and Y2J for trying to headline WrestleMania again, but he says that he'll do whatever it takes to make it. JBL then comes out to much booing. He then does a very Ted DiBiase-esque promo about how he's going to win with Umaga's help, which is quite interesting. Umaga comes out and then Snitsky comes out, to which the audience chants, Brush your teeth. Snitsky talks about how he hasn't had a chance at the title, and HBK interrupts him, saying that he deserves nothing but a good dental hygienist, which starts an all-out punch out in the ring. Regal comes out to say that all six of them will face off in a tag match tonight. I give that a 7.5 out of 10 for a pretty darn cool promo. After commercial, Mr. Kennedy goes up against Super Crazy. This match was pretty much Kennedy poning Super Crazy. Mr. Kennedy wins with an inverted figure four leg lock. He gets on the mic to show MVP versus Ric Flair, where MVP does some serious heavy-duty damage to Flair's leg. Kennedy then gives an H the opportunity to come out on next week's Raw to forfeit their match in a way out. I give that a 6 out of 10 for a lame squash match that was saved by a decent aftermatch promo. After break, we see Mike Adamley going over the Elimination Chamber match at No Way Out, followed by a video of its history. I give that a 5.5 out of 10 for a short but sweet video of the Elimination Chamber. Then, Santino Morella, that guy whose name I didn't know, and Carlito face Brian Kendrick and Paul London. Carlito backstabbed Kendrick for the win. I give that a 4 out of 10 for a very short match. After the match, we see Vince getting his ass buffed with a hand buffer. I'm seriously not kidding. I give that a 5 out of 10 for a funny but over overdone bit. Back again from commercial, Vince comes out to have Hornswoggle kiss his ass, explaining that it's out of tough love. He then says that the parents out there are terrible. He asks all the kids to stand up and says that they're all spoiled brats. Hornswoggle comes out after Vince tells him to. Vince says some classic parentisms like, this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you, you brought this on yourself, so on and so forth, and tells Hornswoggle to kiss his ass. Hornswoggle hesitates for a while, and then Findlay comes out to defend Hornswoggle, which greatly irritates Vince, and says that he can kiss his ass too. After some more hesitation, Hornswoggle bites Vince's ass. Finley and Hornswoggle do a funny little jig and leave. Vince then says that he's going to face Hornswoggle in a no-DQ match next week and says that if Finley interferes, then he's fired. I give that a 7.5 out of 10 for a very funny bit, especially Finley and Hornswoggle's little jig. After the break, Hardcore Holly and Cody Rhodes face off against Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch in a non-title tag match. I missed this match, so I won't give it a score. Back from the break, the main event starts off with Jeff Hardy, Shawn Michaels, and Chris Jericho squaring off against Snitsky, JBL, and Umaga. After a commercial break, the match begins. When Snitsky gets in the ring, the audience chants, Brush your teeth! Which is too, too funny. Jericho, Hardy, and Michaels did their over-the-top rope jump on a Snitsky, JBL, and Umaga at the same time. It was friggin' rad! The commercial breaks end with Jericho falling down for no apparent reason until the replay shows that JBL punching Jericho is what knocked him down. Hardy gets the win with a swanton bomb on Snitsky. This match was awesome. I give it an 8.5 out of 10 for an excellent main event match. After the break, John Cena faces Mark Henry in an arm wrestling match. Henry wins by cheating and Orton tries to RKO Cena but fails. Cena then FUs Henry. I give that a 5 out of 10 for a so-so match with an awesome FU on Henry. Tonight's Raw had some improvements, but they really need to stop doing these short-ass matches. Overall, I give this week's Raw a 6 out of 10. See you guys next week. Andy-san, out.